Hello, everybody. So today I want to talk about what it's like to be a pantser. And what is a pantser, you ask? A pantser is a writer who typically does not outline his work, um, his or her work, and pretty much shoots from the hip, if that makes sense. Um, me, personally, that's the only way I can write. I, I can't really sit down and give myself an entire outline of, you know, here's here's what's going to happen in my story before I write it. That's just not how my brain works. Um, I'll start I'll start off with typically how I want to start the the book and how I want to end it. Um, but that is subject to change. You know, I think a lot of people get uh, intimidated with uh, becoming writers because they are indeed pantsers and they're not aware that there are plenty of writers out there that are pantsers. Um, I may be an extreme kind because I literally do not plan anything. There's ups and downs to that. Um, one of the ups is that, you know, you're more fluid, you're more open to change. Um, but the one issue can be that you don't know when the book's going to be done. Uh, when I wrote my second book, The Ballad of Johnny Carlo, by the time I was done, I have a copy of it right here. It was over 500 pages long, and it took me 15 months to write. I had no idea that it would um, happen like that. When I wrote Chapter 3, Chapter 3 is really where the story takes an ambitious turn. And another downfall of being a pantser is that, for me personally, is that I was very nervous about if I could really fit the entire story, if it would all make sense, or if I was just being too ambitious, especially just being um, having just published my debut novel. But the, the positive about being a pantser, at least for me, is that there always seems to be the piece that I put in that fits later on in the story. For example, I'll write a story where, okay, you know, how does this gangster, how is it he gets away with this robbery? And I realized, oh, three chapters ago, I created this corrupt cop character that is on his payroll. And so, okay, so he went to that guy, and, and it fits. I don't know if that's just me, if I am um, just a different type of pantser, if I just have to get lucky in that way. Um, but I find it enjoyable. You know, to me, it's like really putting the puzzle together one piece at a time. And really moving from, and also, it you know, it gets, I get to really kind of work chronologically chapter one chapter two chapter three chapter four chapter five chapter six uh the only issue is that sometimes you leave out you know you may forget certain details that may become important later on um you know like like if such and such character is in a fight and he's kicking a guy but you forgot that seven chapters ago he broke his leg or something and it's like oh wait hold on that then that doesn't make sense but that's what we have editors for people so for those of you writers out there that you're just not good at outlining, maybe because you're not supposed to be good at outlining. Maybe you're not supposed to have the entire book done in your head. Maybe you're just supposed to go with the flow. I mean, I start off not knowing what I was going to do. I start off with chapter one and I kept writing from there and it totally changed on me. I thought I'd write one book. I've written four books. I'm sorry. I've published four books and I've just finished the rough draft for my fifth book. Being a pantser, look at these. Look at these. Ice Rising is 340 pages. Life Star Corners is about um, 260? 250, 260? Battle Johnny Carl's over 500. 
Ice Box is, it's my shortest read, about 220, 230. And Ice Rain's over 400 pages. At least the rough draft uh, version is. So we'll see what, uh, when me and my editor collaborate, we'll see what uh, what might get changed. Might, might even get longer. Um, but those are the joys of kind of being a pantser. Is really just being able to really create on the fly. And it's it really helps me as a writer because it just gives me so much confidence that just comes off the top of my head and it fits so well. Um, yeah, and it's a challenge every single day. But I complete it every single day. So, yeah, I mean, this is kind of a shorter video, I guess. I wanted to talk about, I can't really talk about, you know, like plotters versus pantsers. I can only speak from a pantser point of view. Um, it is, it's a lot of fun. Um, I like to think of myself as the first person reading the book. I'm the first one to be surprised. Um, I'm the first one, you know, and I tell people, even I don't know. I don't even know how many more books of ice I'm going to be writing. I know at least one more, a, a fourth one. And I'm enjoying it every step of the way. There was one more thing I wanted to um, talk about. It, it's just, it, it just can be hard having a deadline. As a pantser, you do want to set yourself a couple rules. Like when I set up, when I was writing Lifestar Corners, I said to myself, okay, they have to be short. They're short stories. So be careful and trim the fat where you have to. So, but that's cool as pantsers is we don't have to set too many rules, just a few key ones. So yeah, if you're interested in writing a book, you've never done it before, maybe you're a pantser like me and you just have to start with chapter one and you never know, you never know what you might accomplish. So if you enjoyed this video, please uh, subscribe. And if you're interested in books, crime thrillers, that sort, um, check out all my books at jamesmichaelsbooks.com. If you go there and you click on the book, it'll hyperlink you to Amazon where you can purchase it. You can look up the, the blurb, the reviews on the books and whatnot. Um, they are all fantastic reads. Ice Bo Rising Ice Box are part of an ongoing series. I have just finished the rough draft for Ice Rain. Battle of Johnny Carlo is a current standalone, and Life Star Corners is a collection of short stories for those of you that have just started kind of picking up reading or getting back into it. So thanks for watching, and have a good rest of the day.